Hi everyone, it's Ms. Gonzalez back with another math lesson. I'm so happy to see that you're back here ready to learn and grow with me. I hope you guys are being safe and are doing well. And let's get started with this lesson. So today we're going to be talking about comparing numbers. What that means is that we're going to be looking at two different numbers and find out which one is greater than less than or equal to and someone very important that's going to help us with that in this lesson is mr alligator everyone say hi mr alligator there's a very important rhyme that we need to remember so mr alligator can help us compare numbers <clears throat> it goes like this you can follow my pointer mr alligator is hungry for lunch find the biggest number and Munch, munch, munch. Let's read it one more time. Mr. Alligator is hungry for lunch. Find the biggest number and munch, munch, munch. So what do we need to do first so Mr. Alligator can munch? We need to find the biggest number. We have the number 16. And we have the number 6. Which one is the biggest number? So we have 16 and we have 6. Which is the biggest number? That's right. 16 is the biggest number. Which number is Mr. Alligator going to want to eat? The biggest number. 16 is the biggest number. That means that Mr. Alligator is going to want to eat 16. That's why his mouth is open, ready to eat number 16. And so our symbol would look like this. We would read this like this. 16 is greater than 6. Now we have a number 23 and our number 24. Our first step is to find the biggest number so Mr. Alligator can munch, munch, munch. So what is our biggest number? 23? Or 24. 24, great job. So Mr. Alligator is going to want to eat the number 24 because that's the biggest. And his mouth is open, ready to eat number 24. So our symbol would look like this because his mouth is open, ready to eat 24, which is the biggest number. And we would read it like 23 is less than 24. Now we have 13 and the number 13. What's the biggest number? They're the same, right? Okay, so what symbol do we use when we have numbers that are the same? Do you remember? It kind of looks like two lines, but it has a name that starts with the E. Our equal sign. Everyone say equal. So our equal sign means that it is the same. 13 is the same as 13. So when we read it, it sounds like 13 equals 13. What's the name of this symbol? Equals. That's right. All right, now it's time for us to practice a bit. This says, choose the correct symbol. Now remember, Mr. Alligator is still helping us. So our first step is to find the biggest number to munch, munch, munch. We have the number 12 and we have the number 10. I'm going to give you around three seconds to find out what our biggest number is. When you find it, go ahead and point to it on your screen. Good job. Number 12 is our biggest number. So which number is Mr. Alligator going to want to munch on? 12. Now his mouth is open to 12 because he's going to munch on it. What is the correct symbol? Good. It's the greater than symbol because 
His mouth is open, ready to eat the number 12. So his mouth looks like this symbol. All right, now we have a new question. Choose the correct symbol. We have the number eight and another number eight. Choose the correct symbol. Good job, it's the equal sign. Because eight is the same number as eight, and that means they are equal. I've seen you working really hard, and I know that you can read the numbers on your own and find the correct symbol. Are you ready? Go. Remember to find the biggest number. All right, so it's time for us to find the correct symbol. First step was to find the biggest number. What number was that? Can you point to it? Good job, it's the number 11. So what's, so what is the correct symbol? Awesome job, Mr. Alligator would love to eat the number 11 so his mouth would be open to eat number 11. Last one, so are you ready? All right, so we have the number 20 and the number 10. What is the correct symbol? You can point to it on your screen. Good job, this is the correct symbol. So it would sound like 20 is greater than 10 because 20 is the biggest number. Next question, choose the correct symbol. You can press pause so you can read the number and find the correct symbol and when you're ready to check your answer, you can press play. Welcome back. Okay, so we have two numbers here and I'm looking for the correct symbol. Can you point to the correct symbol? Great job, 21 is the biggest number. So our mouth is open to the 21 and the sentence sounds like this. 12 is less than 21. Great job, guys. You just finished your last math lesson for this week. I am so proud of you. Hope you guys have a great weekend and continue working hard. Bye.